All right, in this video, we are going to continue practicing graphing our piecewise functions. Um, and I will be using the calculator this time just to give you a different way of approaching the problems. You can decide which way you like best. So I'm going to do the top function in blue. OK, so you can start off by putting negative 2x minus 6 into your calculator. Okay, looking at the domain, you see that the cutoff value is negative 3. All right, that's where the point of discontinuity is. So we're going to start at negative 3. So we have negative 3 comma 0. Now this one's going to be an open circle because it doesn't have the or equal to part. It's not included, so we're going to leave it as an open circle. So negative 3 comma 0, so I'll have an open circle right here. Now it says x value is less than negative 3. So on my calculator, I'm going to scroll up to get to lesser values. So negative 4 comma 2, for example. So that would be right there. And negative 5 comma 4. And at that point you get the idea. So negative 5 comma 4. So you see that it's going um, left 1 up 2. So I could just continue that pattern. Left 1 up 2, left 1 up 2. Alright, so this part of the piecewise function goes like this. Alright, so the next part I'm going to do in pink um, it's x minus 2, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my calculator real quick. Okay, so x minus 2. Um, again, the border point is, negative, is at negative 3. That's where the discontinuity is. So I'll start there. So I have negative 3 comma negative 5. All right, that will be a closed circle because of the or equal to part of it. So negative 3, negative 5 is going to be right here. OK. And now I want values that are greater than negative 3. So I'm just going to scroll down. So negative 2, uh, negative 4, for example. And um, we knew ahead of time, looking at the slope, that this was going to go up 1 over 1. So sure enough, it's just going to go up 1 over 1 from here. So there you go. All right, so check your answer to number 1. All right, problem number two, same thing. So I'm going to do the top piece in blue. So I'm going to put this function in my calculator, x plus 1 squared minus 2. So here we go, x plus 1 squared, what was it, minus 2? Yeah. And the cutoff value. All right, the point of discontinuity is at 1. So I'm going to start at 1. So I have 1, 2. This will be an open circle because it's not equal to. So I'm going to have an open circle at 1, 2. So open circle here. For more points, I'm going to go x values less than 1. So I'm going to go up on my list. So I have um, 0 comma negative 1, which would be right here, and negative 1 comma negative 2, which would be right here. 
I'm sorry, uh, it's zero, negative one, so it should be right here. And then negative one, negative two would be right here. All right, if I just keep going, so I've got negative two, negative one would be right here. And then negative three, two. And then negative four, seven. And I think that's the last one that's gonna fit on our graph. So that's enough for us to draw and see what's happening. So starting from the point of discontinuity, at one, it's going to form this parabola like this. Ah. Okay, so it should look basically like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other part in pink. And this is x plus one. Alright, again I'll start at the point of discontinuity at 1. So I've got 1 comma 2, and that will be a closed circle. Now notice, this closed circle lands right on the open circle that was there. Don't try to do this and make an open circle with like a closed circle on the inside. If you have an open circle and a closed circle, guess what? It's just a closed circle. Period. Period. Just a closed circle. Okay? And then from there, we know it just goes up one over one. So it's just going to go up one over one like this. All right, so in this video, we're going to continue practicing graphing our piecewise functions. So um, I'm going to use my TI30XS multi-view to help me out. Um, so I'll do the top function here in pink. Uh, <laughs> I don't know my colors. Uh, in blue. So go into the calculator table function. So the first function is negative x squared plus 2. So you can just type in negative x squared plus 2. Okay, now, you always want the uh, calculator to start at the point of discontinuity. Let's use our vocabulary. So, looking at the domain, we see that the, uh, the discontinuity is at 1. So, I'm going to let it start at 1. So, I have the point 1, 1 will be my first point on the graph. Um, Mr. Manning. Looking at the domain here, is this going to be an open circle or a closed circle? An open circle. See how it's just less than, not, or equal to. So my 1 comma 1 is going to be an open circle. So kabam. Um, from there, I want values that are less than 1. So I'm going to actually scroll backwards to get the lesser values. So 0 comma 2, for example. <coughs> Having a good time over there. All right, so 0, comma, 2. Um, what else? Negative 1, comma, 1. Negative 2, negative 2. Do until you run out of space on the graph. Negative 3, negative 7. So the calculator just does so much work for you guys. You guys are lucky to be growing up in a world where everybody has a calculator. We didn't have this technology when I was a kid. Okay, feel blessed. You're blessed. So that's enough to show us what this parabola is doing. So it started from our point of discontinuity and it curves around like this. Alright, so that's our first piece of our piecewise function. So you see the fact that it's a parabola is not scary at all, especially when you have a calculator helping you out. Um, the other one is just a line, so you really don't need a calculator to do it. You could do it like we did it yesterday, y equals mx plus b. You could probably do it faster without a calculator. I'm just going to stick to using the calculator today to get you used to the process. So 2x plus 1. 
I'm just going to switch over to 2x plus 1. Okay, again, the point of discontinuity is at 1, so I'm going to start off from 1. So 1 comma 3. This time it's a closed circle because it's or equal to. So 1 comma 3 is right here. It'll be a closed circle. Um, and then from there, I want values that are greater than 1. So I'm going to scroll it down. So 2 comma 5, 3 comma 7. So there's uh, 2 comma 5 and 3 comma 7. So you see that the graph is going like this. All right, so there's your piecewise function. <coughs> Any questions about number 3? Okay, how about number four? Um, so really, you know, it would be silly to use a calculator for the top function. All right, so I'm not going to. It's just three. So we know that three is a constant. That's a horizontal line at three. Um, but we just want the values where the x values are less than zero. So I'm going to go up to a height of 3, a y value of 3, and um, put an open circle because it's not or equal to. Um, less than 0 will be to the left. Okay. Any questions about the blue part? Now I'm going to do the other piece of my piecewise function in pink. Um, this time I will use my calculator, x squared minus 3. So I'll go to my calculator and I will do x squared minus 3. Whoa, messed up. <coughs> okay, the point of discontinuity is at 0. So I'm going to let it start off at 0 this time. So I have 0, comma, negative 3. This will be a closed circle. All right, so 0, comma, negative 3. So a closed circle right there. Um, now, I want values that are greater than 0. So I'm going to just scroll down. So 1, comma, negative 2. And 2, comma, 1. 3, comma, 6. And that's probably all that will fit. Yeah, next one's 13. Um, so that's enough to show me what this uh, parabola is doing. So it's going like this. All right, so that's number four. There's your piecewise function. All right, so number five. I'll do the top function in blue. Okay, so I have uh, 1 half x is my top function. So if I wanted to use the calculator, I would go 1 half x like this. And uh, my point of discontinuity is at 4. So I will let it start at 4. So look, I have 4 comma 2 is my first point that goes on the graph, 4 comma 2. This will be an open circle because it's not equal to. All right, so 4 comma 2, open circle right here. After that, I want x values that are less than 4. So that means I'm going to scroll up. Okay, so I have 3 is 3 halves, okay, which is 1.5. Okay, so at 3, I'm at 1.5, which is like right there. And at 2, I'm at 1, which is right there. So <coughs> look, um, look at the slope. You see how the slope is 1 half? So if I were going to the right, I'd be going up 1 over 2. But I'm going to the left, so I'm going down 1 back 2. So I don't need to keep looking at my calculator. I can just look at the slope and the fact that it's 1 over 2. 
Um, so from now on, I'm just going to go by that. So I'm just going to continue to go down 1 over 2 for the rest of my points like this. OK, so that shows me that this piece of my piecewise function looks like this. All right, any questions on the first piece of number 5? OK, um, now let's do the second piece of number 5. Um, I'll do this one in pink. So negative x plus 3. I will go ahead and use my calculator again. So negative x plus 3. Whoops. All right, the point of discontinuity is at 4. So I'm going to start at 4. So I've got 4 comma negative 1 will be my first point. Uh, this will be a closed circle, 4 comma negative 1, because of the or equal to is included. So 4 comma negative 1, closed circle right there. All right. Um, after that, if I looked at my calculator, I want x values that are greater than 4. Um, so I would just scroll down and see 5 comma negative 2. Okay, so 5 negative 2 would be right here. Now, I really did not need a calculator to be doing that at all because look at the slope. You see it's negative x, that's like a negative 1. That means I'm going down 1 over 1. So I could just do that without a calculator. Down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. So this piece of the graph is going like this. And that's it. This is what number 5 should look like. So if you've already done it, just look up and ch check your answer. Any questions on number five? All right, let's do problem number six. Do one more of these. <coughs> All right, I'll do the first piece here in blue. All right, so the first function is negative x plus three. So if I want to use my calculator, oh, that's the same function as before. Um, this time the point of discontinuity starts at negative 1. So I'm going to start at negative 1. At negative 1, I've got negative 1 comma 4. It will be my first point. That will be a closed circle. See the or equal to line? So negative 1 comma 4, closed circle. So that's going to be right there. Okay, after that I want points that are less than negative 1. All right, so looking at my calculator, I would scroll upward for lesser values. So I see like negative 2 comma 5, for example. OK, and right away you see the pattern. See how it's going of left 1 up 1? So I could just continue the pattern because it's linear. Okay, so the blue part of the graph is going to look like this. All right, any questions so far for number six? Okay, I'll do the middle part now in pink. Um, so I've got 2x. Okay, so if I do 2x, if I was going to use my calculator, which I mean it's so simple that I hesitate to even use a calculator. I feel silly because it's such a simple problem, but I'm just going to stick to the process. Um, so um, at a, my uh, first point of discontinuity is here at negative 1. So I'm going to start at negative 1. So I'll make this be negative 1. Okay, so obviously that's going to be negative 2 because we're just multiplying by 2. So we have the point negative 1 comma negative 2. Um, now this will be an open circle. See how there's no um, or equal to here. So I'm going to have an open circle at negative 1, negative 2. OK, so negative 1, negative 2 is right here, open circle. OK. Now, I need x values that are between negative 1 and 3. So I need values like 0, 1, 2 and 3. 
So I will keep going. So zero comma zero is a point. Okay, and you see the pattern. All right, this is a straight line. So it's going up two over one because of the slope. So I know that it's um, at one, it's going to be here. And I know at two, it's going to be here. It's going up two over one. I mean, I could use my calculator if I needed to, but I don't think we need to. Okay, and I know that at three, it's going to be, of course, at six. Okay, notice this one's a closed circle. At three, it's a closed circle because of the or equal to part of it. Okay, so this is the function that's going to go from negative one to three. All right, so I'm just going to draw this in. Okay, so that's what the middle piece looks like. Uh, any questions on the middle part of this guy? Um, that just leaves the constant, which I'll do in green. Um, I'm not going to use my calculator for this. So constant is just a horizontal line at 5. So if, like if I drew the whole thing, it would just be a horizontal line at 5 like this. Skrrr. All right, if I drew the whole thing, there it is. But I'm not going to draw the whole thing. I'm just going to draw the part where the x values are greater than 3. Okay, so here's where the x value is 3. I'll put an open circle because it's greater than, not equal to. And greater than 3 would be to the right. So that's the part I draw. So this is what numbers, uh, I put it on 4 and it should be at 5. Thank you. That's what I mean. This is what your answer to number six should look like. All right, any questions?